Hi and welcome to this Plans Express Getting Started video. In this section I'm going to be taking a look at the suspended timber floor on the first floor. Now before I drop the floor in there I'm going to place a construction line, vertical construction line, here on my stairs. As when I place the trims around I'm going to use these as guides. And I'm going to place one there. Just running parallel to the stairs right click to drop that tool now. I'm going to go back to the architectural tab I'm going to go to the flooring drop down, suspended floor and suspended insulated timber floor. I can see here it's going to give me 100mm end bearing so extra timber on each end. And it's also going to place timber noggings in there every 24 meters to allow for plasterboarding so I've got my bracing. On the next page you can see that there's yellow boxes there, so I can actually dictate the width of the joists, thickness of the floor, and these joist centers, and extra options there for number joist hangers and boot ends, and also if the ceiling's plastered and decorated and insulated. I'm going to click finish, and the first thing that's going to, I'm going to see is in the command window, it's going to ask me for give the first corner of the floor on supporting wall one. So this is going to be this corner here. I'm going to wait till it says end and click, come up to this corner here, same again, click and bring that across as such. Once I've placed that you can see it's giving me the orientation of the timber and it's going to give me a question box now if I wish to consider the perimeter sealant trimmers and end straps at this stage. I'm going to say no as that will pop up at the end of each of these floors so I can just say yes when I'm done with the, all the floors themselves. To bring up the floor again I can right click on the mouse and it will see there in the command window asking me for that dimension again so I'm going to click, click and place across, say no, right click, corner, corner, and drag across, making sure I'm going up against that wall there, say no, and this time I'm going to right click, go from that corner to that corner, and drag across, and place, I'm going to say no this time. Now I can see that I haven't gone all the way across, so I'm going to click on that floor there, click on that corner, once and click to place so I can drag that up to make that floor fit if I have made a mistake. Next thing I'm going to do is draw all the floor timbers in here. So I'm going to right click to bring the tool back up again. Go there to there and go across to the wall. Say no. Right click and go from that corner to that corner and all the way across. This time I'm going to say yes and I'm actually going to do the perimeter sealant at this point as well so if I'm estimating this I have everything done correctly. I'm going to start on this corner here. So you can start whatever corner you wish but I'm going to work my way around the drawing now. Going from corner to corner placing the perimeter insulation around for estimating. Now you see there's a little circle around the end there so what I can do now is I can press C and it will close that off for me. I can say no to perimeter sealant but I can say yes to trimmers. Now it's going to ask me the number of trimmers to upper floor, number of hangers. I'm going to say two, click finish. I'm going to come over here now and I'm going to start running my trimmers around the stairs. So I'm going to come up to this corner here, I'm going to follow the construction line, click there, come down here and when it says int, click once again, and that's the first trimmer placed. Right click to drop that. It'll ask me if I want to place any more trimmers. I'm going to say yes again. This time I'm going to say two again. Accept defaults and run from that corner to that corner there. Right click to drop that. And this time say any trimmers. I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to leave that at zero because when I click, actually I'm, to, actually I'm going to put two in there actually, I'm going to click finish now. I don't need any hangers for these timbers here as they already contain their own. So I'm going to come across to that corner there, the stairs, and move across to this edge, click, right click, and I finish placing that trimmer. I'm going to say no to no more to any more trimmers. I'm going to say yes to the end straps. Once I've got the end strap there, I'm going to come down here and start placing them in for my lateral restraint. I'm going to use the midpoint on these walls as my 
start point. I'm going to use the shift key holding that there to give me a nice straight line when placing these restraints. Each time I place, I'm going to say yes to do the next one using that midpoint again as my indication. Dragging my mouse across the screen there. In this case, I've got no midpoint here, so I'm just going to select a point and just start drawing them in freehand if need be. So placing these around the drawing now, holding shift to make sure they are straight. Only a few more left to go. Come down to the bottom here to place the final restraints. And now I've placed all them there now. When it gives me the indication box there, I can say no, I don't wish to place any more. And that is now finished on that. I can come up to the drawing annotation and I can select delete construction lines to remove those construction lines as I no longer need them. And that is now that section done. I'm going to come up to the top left and save as. And save that now as number 8. Once that's saved, that's that section now completed.